morning. It's success. It's not raining. Um, the water levels should be dropping. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that we can get those cattle off the nature reserve um, today. That's the plan anyway. That's the plan a little bit later. First of all, though, we've got to um, get these cows fed and bedded down, which everybody's already started. I'm a little bit late, to be honest, this morning. Um, I was emptying the garage of cardboard. Yeah, I know. Uh, fit, and she got a new dryer and a new fridge freezer recently, so everything's had to go out. Anyway, why am I telling you that? I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to jump on the nine meter and put out some straw. Andy's using six nine this morning to bed up. My dad is just down there feeding out on the TM. Everywhere's looking very muddy. So I need two bales for in here. I'm going to think outside the box, you know. I'm going to try and unravel them both at the same time, leaving them stood up like that. Never really tried this before, but um, normally I just separate them, put them side by side. But yeah, we'll try something a bit different. It's not work though, because that one's that one's unwrapping that way, and this one's unwrapping this way. So um, yeah, it's not worked. I will. But at least it should make it easier for me to just grab and put in the feeder. It says with one hand. Just grab it like that. Some bits fall off, but it's much easier. Just doing a little bit of tidying up than um, messing about in there. The sun's making the straw look a real nice colour as it's rising this morning. We'll pop around here and we'll get some silage. The wall of straw. Yeah, it's uh, definitely getting that bright and low, that sun. So as I might have been saying yesterday, this area here is going to be a new cattle pen. Um, it used to be just at this side and then all the hay went in here, but then we got the new shed, so we put the hay in that. And then this gives us another pen for cattle. Um, so I've got to get up the little things in the floor. Oh, easy peasy. Um, where we put the barriers in. Another one here, look. Oh, easier than I expected. So now I've got those out, I need to go down here and pick up this big gate. Because um, that's what fits in there. We've had it for years and years and years, probably like 20 odd years this gate. Never found use for it until like two years ago. But it is a mammoth of a thing. Must have been for bulls or something. I'm not sure if it came out of a market. But yeah, it's hefty. I'm going to have to lift it some height just to get it round there. It's that wide. It must be uh, over 20 foot wide, I bet. Yeah, it's tight getting it in here. Just touch the gate. It's alright, we're in, we're in. Job's a good one. Quite handy, one leg is longer than the other, so I can get one leg in and then we'll push this on the tines to get it somewhere in line he says hopefully like so and then just go back to the telehandler and we can lower it down hopefully anyway But somewhere near there, with a bit of a nudge. It's got to be going in. Now, it's gone down, but it's got itself trapped. So I think I'm going to have to move the tines to this side, lift it up. And uh, anyway, we'll, I'll show you it when it's done. I thought it'd be simple, but it looks like it's going to get very fiddly. So yeah, here we go. So a little bit of persuasion. Lifting it one end just to get the untrapped and she's on. So then we can hang gates from either side of that and we've got ourselves a wall so the cows don't eat the hay. We've got a perfect gap there so they can't reach over and eat any. That's the plan. It's coffee time! 
We got completely caught up yesterday with vaccinating and um, weighing and, and worming cattle and things. Um, everything, every new beast that came had been done and then my dad goes and gets some more, doesn't he? So we're, we're on, we're doing that again this morning. I think we've, we've just got this pen here to do. And um, yeah, so we'll get them, we'll get them all recorded on here. Matt and Andy are super happy this morning because they're not going to have to clip anything. Whoever's sold them in the market has done it for us. Oh, there's one to do. Oh, that's good, good. <clears throat> oh, what are you getting out of practice, Andy? Utilise technology where possible. So this is um, an automatic crush. It automatically goes into there and then you shut behind it. Um, and then we use a computer system to track everything. Just try and be forward thinking here, a bit. There's been a lot of talk in farming about this little logo recently, haven't there? Heard about it, Andy. What, red trap? Yeah. <laughs> people kicking off about it. Kicking off about it, oh. What are people's thoughts? I'm not going to get into it, but what are people's thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Keeping them cool. And the proper Angus ones, they've got really thick, um, hair because they are quite hardy breed and um, when you take them inside they can get too warm and then they start sweating and then they actually get too cold so we're actually crushing the hair off to keep them warm seems a bit like the wrong way around isn't it but um, that's what we're doing look there's one for it. it's fixed now it's got a window <laughs> oh it might be the sister one road train time so we just lifted this up. Jim's just gonna back into position. So yeah, this is what a uh, six one thirty looks like that's not set on fire. Um, this one got at the same time as ours, so it's like the sister tractor um, to ours. And yeah, we got a, a road train on now. Fair bit of water in there though. Better let that out. Not allowed to carry a load, you see when you've got two trailers like that. Yeah, it's a beast. Had to back up, because um, you can't get it all in. It's a bit wet though, for fetching it out of here. You'll uh, have to keep a bit of momentum going, will Jim? is off. He's got out anyway. So we've had our dinner now. Um, we've got a few more cattle to get out. I've got some cattle to take in the daff. Um, so I'll be getting on with that job. Um, some banging. Must be construction on roundabout. Um, they're putting a new roundabout in, down here. And uh, there's all sorts going off. Just getting some cattle out of here. Some of them still chilling. Hello. You gonna get up? Wow, there we go. So we like to see nice stretch, stretching, twisting its tail. Right, and now I'm gonna get loaded up with cattle. So I better try and navigate around this yard, not in running to the various tractors and diggers that are here. I am all loaded up now. Um, they've got even more cattle to get out. So, uh, and then I think I'm uh, gonna try and have a look at getting down to pick some of those up from the flood banks. So it's gonna be maybe a long day today. Just stopped off at Ripon Farm Services. We'll have a look around here. Some are pretty big in the car park on the front. So I think we need to have a look around it. So we got a fair few things in. Little things like the 5075E. It's a bit of a beast of a tractor, but then there's also this weapon on the front. An 8RX 410. Very nice. So that is a beast, isn't it? Hey? One click go auto setup. What's all that about then? Somebody will let me know, I'm sure. Brand new. Looking very nice. Look at the size of the pin on the back. 
it's huge. Yeah, what a beast. Also got some Kramers in, the black one, which is nice. 6R185. Got some nice loader tractors. What's this one? Is this a 5 Series or an M? Six one ten M. Yeah, got a fair bit of kit in at a minute. Nice drill. Some Kramers. And a Coon um, straw bedder, if anyone wants to try one of them. Looks like that's either on demo or just come in. Andy, do you want to try one? It's not as big as ours. Better get on my way because we've got another load of cattle to take. Um, yeah, it's a busy day. Ben is currently, it's well, he's been broke down, uh, just down from the farm, and um, they're trying to get the cattle in from um, from the from the grass that's flooded. So I don't know how successful he's been. I'll need to ring him and find out. Um, but yeah, he might want a hand with that. I think him and Connor have gone down to do it. They should be able to do it on their own. But um, yeah, fingers crossed we've got those we've got those home when we get back. They've got an Albert silage grab. So I'm looking for something like this. So if um, somebody knows of a good maker one of these, let me know. Because that is what I'm looking for, one of them. Right, I'm back into the yard. Uh, looks like the mix has been dropped off, so we'll see in a bit if they managed to get the cattle home. Fingers crossed they have. Guys, looking messy around here. I have to get to uh, bucket brush on, I think, at some point. Do a good clean up. You got him? How many more? Two more to go. Is anybody left? Is the water deep? Oh, it's gone down a lot then. Well, it's fell it from out this bias. It's from a public gate, and I went to talk to him. I'm like, is it very deep? It's like three foot, and it was raising dead and deep. I'm talking in this. I'm not insulting, but he looked in his 70s. Yeah. Um, with his bike and stuff, and he just said, well, I got halfway, and I thought, I've got to keep going now. <laughs> is Andy and my dad down there then? Yeah. All right, I'll start feeding up then. Bye. I'll get off with that. So it looks like I ought to get on the TM320S and start feeding a few of these cows. So I'm just shooting around, feeding all the places that I can. Like these guys. Well, we've got Derek here fetching us in some more cattle in his beast Scania. And Derek's off, unloaded them. A fair beast, so. To get through the water, um, my dad and Andy took the 215, which was on the mixer. So that means, because we were tractor down, I've got to drop this off to put the mixer on so we can get a mix done, just to make it a bit easier. And also, I've got to take some cattle a little bit later. So um, it's going to be another late night here on the farm. Loving it. Just loving it. Yeah, I don't know. I could do with going. I think I'm just going to go to bed dead early tonight like nine o'clock bedtime as i've not been able to get down there um to the cattle ben's done a video but he's done it the other way around so um you know amateur footage what can i say but here it is well here's the video i think the real issue is that joe just didn't go quick enough to get his bad wave up so i'm doing it now i'm getting on with joe Well, that's all wearing away. We'll just put some barley in and then be ready to tip off. There's a few pens of cattle that are not fed yet. They'll be waiting there, hungry and con hungry and content. How can you be content if you're hungry? They'll be waiting for the feed, won't they? They'll be, they'll be like, where is it, Joe? So um, yeah, it's on its way. Anyway, um, once we've got this done. And as I'm dropping the bucket off, Ben arrives with the last load of cattle. The last flood victims to come back. 
A monkey trailer, aren't there? It's like a jumper. It's like my hands on my jumper. I'll only one. You think Connor picked this up? He won't. No, me and Andy. And then Connor were lifting halfway up the side. Huh? Oh, so he's clean. Clean Connor, is it? Um. So yeah, these um these guys got some hay, got some nice fresh bedding. They don't look too bad. So they've um, spent a couple of days in water, didn't they? At one point. No, they're quite happy to stop in there, aren't they? A bit of silage and a, uh, a dry back for a number of days. So he's going to get off now to pick the gates up. Then we've got to empty the trailer, to clean the trailer, to put the gates back in the trailer. Oh, uh, anyway. The home, the home, that's the main thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey? The story's ended. They're back. Happy ending. Just got that mix done. I've got to get off in the um, lorry, but I'm just gonna have a coffee before I set off on that journey. Um, and yeah, Ben sent us another video, but in portrait. So let's check that out, and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how see how he's done this time, eh? Right, this is take two. This is, uh, the first one I did in portrait, and Joe says it's got to be in landscape. But yeah, he's got quicker through this flood water. Get a bit of a bad way of going. Very hard knowing where the track is up. Apart from between the trees. The bad box all there. One time I ended up with a really nice smooth bow wave. I don't know if I'm going too quick now slow down a bit there, is it going? That's better, isn't it? Just keep some water away from you. You can get it gets a bit choppy if you go too quick. Is the uh, trees here are terrible and like to fall in all my mirrors? That's not so bad. It's when we get around these couple of bends here. Oh, we've got someone waiting. Also, got all the gates ready because all the cows are home now. Just as a trip to get the gates back. These trees, which is really bad. That one. That's one. Both windows gone. See a lot laughing at me because I'm in landscape. Landscape. So it's really nice that the drama of the flooding is behind us now. Um, we've still got some cattle out of grass, but they're all fine. You know, it's not raining, and it feels like yeah, the 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 madness and the drama of the YouTube's probably ended for 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 hopefully a long period. <laughs> Um, although it is nice to see that we've got new subscribers coming to the channel because of the drama and bits and bobs like that um, I think I'd just rather not have the drama and just yeah be, be, be fine with it but um, anyway I just want to end the video now so I've got to get on with the lorry to take these cattle and um, yeah so I guess that's where that's where we end it today so if you have liked it remember to press the like button um, subscribe if if you've not already if you are a new subscriber i wonder if, if it's like local people that have tuned in to watch um because of the, you know the, the flooding and it being local or if it's like people from 
literally different countries or different parts of the UK. So um, if you're well, old and new, if you're old or new subscriber, let us know in the comments where you're coming from and maybe how long you've been watching, something like that. That'd be great. So um, yeah, appreciate you watching guys. Oh, if you want a hat, you know, keep you warm for winter or hoodie or t-shirt anything like that check out joeseals.com and it also puts a little geographical marker on the about section i think it is and you can see where people are tuning into the website um from around the world i, I find it quite fun i, I did geography and I, I yeah i quite like that side anyway i'm rambling on thank you very much for watching i massively appreciate it and i'm getting off in the lorry now business see you later guys bye